This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Florida. I am here with Principled Women in Business. Since 2017, and they've been helping founders and owners to start, capitalize, grow, scale, and exit profitable businesses. I am joined with the solutionist, Lauren, who is the co-founder. Thanks so much for joining us here today. It's an honor to be here with you today, Gary. Thank you so much for having me on the show to be able to speak to your audience and to your viewers and to be able to educate them. You bet. Let's start off a little bit about your background. You were formally educated at the State University of New York College of Buffalo, as well as Grand Canyon University. In the past, you have been a chairwoman of multiple organizations, co-founder of many companies, including most recently Principled Women in Business. Share with me a little bit how this passion her business began for you? <laughs> this story, I don't think I've ever told. I've been a business owner since I was seven years old when I first started my business. Around the neighborhood, remember selling gift wrap? I started that and I got really good at it. And my dad helped me open up a bank account back when we had the paper books. And it, it's really just kind of gone from there. Have I had failed businesses? Yeah. You know, I definitely learn from the school of business hard knocks. But like you said, I'm formally educated in numerous areas uh, with high degrees in emergency and catastrophe management. So solutionism is very much up my alley. So of course it makes perfect sense to me that I ended up one in business because I love working with people and I love bringing needs together so that it's no longer a need. It, comes to that solution space. But I like watching families grow because they're involved in that business. And that really is what gets me going is watching all of these families that a business touches grow together as a community. Interesting. I mean, successful business ownership can be rewarding, but the journey to success can be challenging. Do women in business have unique barriers that most do not even realize when they start business? That's a touch to question. There are numerous barriers, of course, that women do face in business, in everyday life, just as they exist. And we have for millennia, based on the culture that you lived in. However, when we come to business, we find that not only are we becoming more and more successful over the years, but we still have those unique barriers. And people generally turn to, well, you can't get capital as easily. You can't get a client as easily. Your vendors charge you more. Those are the things that you think of right off the bat. It wasn't the actual access to formation knowledge and how to protect yourself from, li from liabilities of corporate ownership. You didn't get those things because they were never made accessible. I don't want to say it, but I'm going to have to because there's no better way. It's the good old boys club. Access is everything. I mean, yes. you yes. you live in a world where businesses are profitable. You find most owners are very good at what they do, but they lack the understanding exactly what it takes to be a profitable, successful business. I find all the time that owners absolutely love what they do. They are passionate about it. They love what they do for their customers. But the fatal flaw is so often they haven't looked at the market segmentation. So they're not offering something that a lot of people want. And that's where we see the highest instances of business failure is we didn't do the research. You didn't know how to do the research. You didn't have a mentor to teach you how to create or find that market. And that's the biggest reason that businesses fail, but particularly women in business, because we do have a tendency of creating businesses that touch our hearts. You know, they, they touch other people. I mean, you're an advisor, you're an advocate. I mean, but ultimately you're a solutionist that creates and facilitates experiences that resolve obstacles for your clients. Do you enjoy digging deep and really getting to know your client? I love it. They are not always very comfortable with it at first because I do have to ask those uncomfortable, not dinner table talk questions because you came to me, you wanted a particular experience. You had this vision of mastery in your head and you came to me because you wanted to feel that experience. I have to go in very deep to make sure that I'm touching all levels of your desired experience because it's never just one level. Even if you tell me, I just want capital for my business, I promise you there's numerous levels that are going to that. And I have to ask the questions to get there. 
definitely a complex journey when you're building a company as well as you're building yourself at the same time. I mean, you not only can help women start a business, but you help them start a business the right way. Why is setting out on the right foot with a possible exit plan in mind critical to the growth and success of a business? There are so many pillars that go into this term the right way, coming down to protecting yourself from liability setting yourself up properly with the various entities that are controlling of your business, making sure your banking is right, setting yourself up an exit plan. You don't start a business to be in there forever. You want to rest. You want to go enjoy life and truly encourage your passions in your family. Consider these things now and your exit, that journey will be so crystal clear and it'll be much more smooth sailing, especially when you have someone like myself, a coach, a mentor who's, who's been there, who's failed who's eaten all of the dirt, all flavors of it, pick a state. I've done all of them. You don't want to do that. It never tickled and it never tasted good. That's why you bring in a trusted mentor, a trusted advisor. My clients are never clients. You become family. We are locking arms and we're taking a journey because business is a journey. This is never a one-off. I mean, great to be in business for yourself, but not by yourself. It's great to have Great to have someone in your corner. I mean, one of the may one of the ways to make sure you start or continue in business the right way is making sure you're adequately funded. I mean, let's face it, working or startup capital, it's a challenge for many. Raising capital, is that an area that you're able to help? Absolutely. Uh, the hard statistic behind that is over 80% of business owners, particularly women, start their business with their own capital, their hard-earned savings, their IRAs, their mutual funds. They liquidate everything, all of their assets. You've stripped yourself. You always want to tap into somebody who can access corporate capital because this is going to do two things. This is going to get your company the money you need to start, to grow, to get those the inventory, the equipment. But it is also going to set you up so that you can grow faster over a course of time and remove the liability from your family and yourself. I mean, I've seen some businesses out there that have succeeded. They've become profitable, but yet it seems to come at a cost of instead of them running their business, the business is running them. They become almost a slave to their business. How important is lifestyle in in the successful formula that you help create? (laughs) <laughs> isn't lifestyle everything? Isn't this why we started? Oh, uh, within my family, within any of my organizations, lifestyle is always number one because nobody rises to do nothing to improve our lifestyle, to improve the status of our family, to improve and elevate that socioeconomic status. It has to be about lifestyle and not working in your business, but on your business. Teams, bringing in people who know more than you, who've been there, who've done it. Let me ask you this. Not only are you able to resolve obstacles, but you actually turn them into favorable situations. As an entrepreneur, Mm -hmm. you truly teach women how to make lemonade out of lemons uh, that life gives them. Is this something you're known for and something that you've had to do with in your own life? That is certainly something that I'm known for. Um, as I'm going farther and farther in my own journey and working with more people, I am more frequently remarked, Lauren, how do you do and go through all of these things over the course of your life? And somehow you still are on top smelling like roses. Honestly, I just developed the, the need for a solution. Problems are painful. Obstacles are painful. Nobody wants to feel them. So I got really good at a young age, figuring out ways to solve those. And now I bring it to other people because still other people, other founders, other business owners, they have difficulties coming up with solutions when they've taught, they've been taught a very different education. They didn't obtain the the empireonomics, the financial intelligence, the the mergers acquisition education that I did. So I bring that to other people because there's no other way they're going to be able to obtain those benefits. That is interesting. For those who have built a successful, profitable business, and they now want to move on to the next chapter, they're ready to exit the business, are you able to help them sell and for the highest valuation? Always help them sell. Always for the highest valuation. This comes back to what I said at the top of the call here, that we never went into business to lose. 
So we want to make sure that you're getting the highest valuation, that you're multiplying that, that you're getting the most out of those years, those decades of dedication, sacrifice, endurance. So yes, you should be multiplying your valuation. Should you be engaging with a business broker? Potentially not. More times than what I find is business brokers are recovering real estate agents. They moved into a different sphere to find a different means of income. It does not mean that they are a specialist in starting a business, growing it, selling it, all of these things that go into the transition and the exit out of a business for the highest valuation because you don't want to take a bath. I mean, you could almost say you're a, you're a matchmaker, uh, moving <laughs> behind the scenes, creating win-win solutions as a money matchmaker. You've created a network of those with capital, resources, even untapped credit. Do you enjoy building those relationships? I love it. I feel like my face is glowing. Um, I spend most of my days and nights just glowing. I love what I do. I am so very blessed to be here working with business owners, working with founders, their employees and their employees' families. That's a big level of trust. And I take that very seriously. I take that as my own business. I treat every single family member I work with as that's my business and I'm not going to hurt you or it. We're coming up and we're coming together. You help create profitable and impactful businesses that ensure an enviable lifestyle, one that creates generational wealth for their family for years to come. Does this continue to be rewarding for you and, and see your clients prosper? Every day. And I am completely convinced that it will continue to thrill me, drive me, and fuel me for decades to come. I couldn't think of any other lifestyle than helping other founders and business owners and people come up with solutions to their pain points. Whatever the pain point is, is the pain point a business point? Does it have to do with your own personal credit or your own personal finances? Maybe you don't know how to retire. No one's helped you. You have someone who can. I've helped, I have watched it happen. How heartbreaking is it to watch your parents work for years and years and scrimp and save and they retire. And then three years later, they have to go back and work at Walmart, Target, pick a, pick a store as a greeter or as a cashier. That is heartbreaking and it's unacceptable. So I'm moving with my family, with my team to make sure that this doesn't happen to any more families, any owners or any individuals, because it's plain and simply not fair. At CNTV, we celebrate the entrepreneur. That's why we love um, connecting folks out there that need professionals in their corner, such as yourself. Viewers, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website where you can claim your free discovery call. Um, act now and you can get the bonus includer, uh, a bonus, which is an insider guide with that call as well. If you're an owner out there and you're ready to improve your business so you can live the lifestyle you desire, and better serve your family as well as your community, reach out today to The Solutionist and join the family of brands and integrity that helps businesses do more business. This is Gary Atensu with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.